turning now to our weather it really is a topic of conversation today because the clouds are back starting the weekend off with some cooler temperatures. It's really nice to have the cooler temperatures and this is not a reflection though of how summer is going to play out right Mike. No we're just taking a bit of a break yeah. from the warm clear and perfect that we experienced you know. We were lamenting going into the weekend because we did. We had beautiful blue skies, temperatures upper 70s, lower 80s, and then the weekend comes and pow, you know, but still not bad, not particularly rainy out there. We got some light, light drizzle reports earlier this morning. There's some rain potential in some spots tomorrow, but otherwise I'm seeing some clearing on the horizon. The other thing too, it's not particularly cool out there. 71 degrees right now. Yes, that is a few degrees below average. 77, 78 is the average for this time of year, but with a light breeze coming out of the west, five to 10 miles an hour and everything else and check. It's a great weekend to get out there. Take a look at this. This is Westport and as we turn the camera sunshine. Yeah, we're taking a look into the future here. In fact, that weakening frontal boundary that moved through overnight last night really lost its mojo. It's starting to break apart over top of the Pacific there and it's allowing some sunshine through and that will make its way farther east tomorrow. In fact, as we take a look at the big picture here, a couple things going on still tracking some widespread monsoonal flow over top of the south and west. This is great news. It's not particularly comfortable there because it's over 100 degrees in many spots and then you add humidity to it. I'd much rather be here, but it is acting as a natural form of fire suppression and we are perfectly okay with that. As we zoom into the Pacific Northwest here again, the system that moved on shore here just really didn't have a whole lot going for it. So just a little bit more onshore flow that doesn't really have a lot of moisture embedded into it. So we'll see some mid and upper level cloud cover push through and from time to time some little green dots on the map here indicating that we could be looking at some light drizzle. Now as we move forward into Sunday morning, this is right around 930 and Forecast models have been pretty consistent about putting some light rain and drizzle up towards Whatcom County, especially up towards the border crossing and Blaine there. And then as we move towards the afternoon and evening, latest forecast model runs have put a giant eraser over top of Puget Sound. Last night it was suggesting that we could be seeing some rain around the dinner hour. Now that has moved on. In fact, we'll continue to see some of that rain move through Whatcom County into Okanagan County, and then this thing's going to move on. In fact, you see that counterclockwise flow indicating the low takes off towards the north and east. A little bit of cloud cover to start the day off on Monday and then some clearing, warming and drying. In fact, yet we'll get back up into the 70s and 80s once again next week. Warm, but not particularly hot. It's going to be actually very pleasant. Overnight lows tonight will be pleasant. We'll keep it in the mid 50s for the most part. We'll see some lower 50s at the bookends in Chehalis and up towards Friday Harbor as well. Some mid 50s along the coast and we'll do that in Arlington too. Here's what your temperatures look like on Sunday. Again, not exceedingly warm, but not exceedingly cool either. In fact, we'll do our very best to keep it in the 60s and 70s, upper 60s in Issaquah and North Bend, 70s in Bellevue and Renton. We'll do that in Auburn and Puyallup as well. Olympia looks like it's going to be in 70 degree territory as well. Out near the coast, we'll see more sunshine than we saw today and we'll get temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. And then as we move off towards the east, actually cooler than it was today. Tri Cities took a run at 100, so 92 is going to feel pretty darn good. Seven day forecast puts us in the upper 50s overnight across Puget Sound, upper 60s on Sunday and then onwards and upwards. The sun returns and we get ourselves into the upper 70s and lower 80s and keep it there through the rest of the week.